What is up, ladies and germs? I'm Ty Nelson, and I'm here with uh, Captain Kyle Grow. He is uh, the office manager at Florida Fishing Products. Uh, today, we are doing a how-to video on how to catch redfish with artificial lures in fall on Florida's west coast. We'll be uh, cruising into this back bayou, and we will be looking for tailing redfish, for redfish pushing. We're looking for redfish in potholes. Um, basically, anywhere we can find redfish, anything that we can drum up in our minds where we think the redfish might be, we're going to be blind casting and trying to sight fish for these redfish. So today we'll be primarily throwing paddle tails uh, in the three inch range. Our particular favorite baits are the Slayer Inc. Paddle Tails SSTs and three inch. I prefer the camo color. Uh, I know Kyle mixes them up. He likes gumbo, Houdini, some other natural colors. I'm sure we'll talk plenty about that as we get further into this video. Uh, the second bait that we'll be throwing is a DOA shrimp. That's my go-to for sight fishing fish. If you watch any of my videos, I throw a DOA shrimp rigged weedless and backwards uh, pretty frequently. Uh, and I will say these techniques, these aren't just some BS techniques that we made up um, and that we're just telling you and we've never tried. Um, honestly, these are tried and true techniques. I know this because I've used them to win numerous tournaments. I have three IFA kayak tour championships using these techniques. I know Kyle has numerous uh, top five finishes using the techniques that he's learned. Have you won any tournaments, Kyle? Uh, nothing to brag. What was uh, what was your best best finish this year? Uh, one of the Florida pros in March. Uh, we came in second. So second place. So. I would say that's pretty good. That's against the best red fishermen in the state of Florida. Probably some guys out of state as well. Um, so these techniques are definitely tried and true. This isn't some BS that, that we're just throwing at you guys that have not been tried before. We actually use these um, on the professional series, the professional tournaments that we have fished. Um, primarily the IFA kayak tour, the IFA redfish tour, and also the Florida Pro redfish tour, which has a different name now, thanks to Kent Hickman. He's a good guy though. So anyways, uh, today we will be talking about how to catch redfish with artificial baits. Hopefully we'll be able to sight fish some fish, maybe some tailing fish, some pushing fish, um, maybe sight fishing some fish in potholes. We'll be pounding some shorelines, pounding some flats, uh, blind fishing, uh, like fan casting, like search fishing, fan casting with paddle tails, just casting a wide range um, with a paddle tail and trying to find fish that way. So. Hopefully you guys will learn something from this video. I think there's a lot of really good information that Kyle and I both have because we do both have years and years and years of experience of using these techniques. So uh, stay tuned with us. We'll be getting into more information, talking about the rod and reels that we use, the fluorocarbon that we use, the individual baits that we use, the particular tides that we fish, how the weather affects uh, the tides, how the weather affects the fishing as a whole, why we are doing what we're doing, why we choose a certain island or a certain side of an island versus the other side of the island. Um, there's a lot of really good information that we guys are going to give you, so definitely stay tuned, stay put, um, and make sure you watch this whole video. I will put some points in uh, the description of below if you're looking for anything in particular. Uh, I'll put just notes on what we're going to be talking about and when those points will be coming up. So if you guys do want to jump ahead just because you want to know about a particular topic, um, feel free to do that below. Thank you guys for watching, and let's go catch some fish. All right, well, we're set up. It's a little bit windy, so you might not be able to hear us too well. Uh, we do have our uh, our little freaking birdies here, little feathers, little fuzz balls on our mics. So hopefully we'll uh, help block this wind, but I'm on top of a six foot tower here and I got wind coming directly at me. So my guess is it's probably gonna be a little bit windy. So please bear with us guys. Um, this is also our first time using these mics. So uh, if there's any audio faults, we'll just blame Kyle on that. Just kidding. No, we'll blame Alejandro. He's the one that set it up, right? No, just kidding. No blame. We got this. We'll work on it. It'll get better as we go. Uh, so right now we're uh, cruising this little back bayou. We're at the pretty much bottom of the tie. We're really waiting for this tie to start coming in. It's part of the reason we're doing this video right now. I'm talking through things as we have slack tide. And then once this tide starts coming in, hopefully we'll find some more fish. Um, I got Kyle on the polling platform back there. He's uh, actually pre-fishing for a tournament today. He's scouting out some different areas and he is hoping to find some redfish. And I'm hoping to help him out with finding some redfish because tomorrow I'm not fishing the tournament. And yeah, I figure I might as well help a friend. <clears throat> so the goal is to find 24 to 27 inch redfish. We want those upper slot, thick redfish. Um, so today we're gonna be doing a lot of 
blind casting with paddle tails. Like I was saying earlier, this is a Slayer Inc. SST. Oh, that looks like a tail over there, Kyle. I think there's a couple fish. Yeah, uh, more like, yeah, 10, 30, 11. Probably 10 is what I'd call it. Um, it could have been a mole. I saw something come out entirely and then go back down. Hard to say on that one. Perfect. Yeah, so. Uh, right at 10 o'clock? Definitely tail. Definitely tail. See him? No, I'm not seeing him right now. Oh, right there, right there. Yep. Right here? Yep. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is good. Um, we found a fish quickly. So, uh, we have a tailing redfish in this back area. You might not be able to see him right here, but I'm pointing at him with my rod. Um, no, I'm not seeing him. He's down. Oh, there we go. So, different fish. I'm looking at a completely different fish. I think there's a couple. All right, so we're gonna quiet down now. Kyle's gonna push me up slowly and let's see if we can make something happen. Right now, that tail is kind of sticking like this, which means the fish is pointed to the right. He's actually down right now, you can't see it, but when he comes up and his fin is pointing that way, it means his head's pointing that way, so I'm gonna try and get in front of him and to the right of him so I can bring that bait in front of his face so I can get that eat. So you can see him right here. Sounds good. Um, I might try to, let me get a couple casts out here first. See what I got distance wise. I am going against the wind, so I'm gonna go one with the wind. This is actually a brand new line, guys. So this is our distance braided line, so I know I can get the cast out there. This is always a good idea. Yeah, I see him there. I'm just trying to get this uh, line out. This is the first time I've used this line, so I just think it's important to get that line out. All right, you can hold me here, Kyle. I'm gonna make a cast. All right. Yeah, I see him. I'm waiting for him to kind of give me a, a nice tail so I know his head's down. Give me an opportunity to get it nice and close to him. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Here we go. Right in front of us. Horrible cast. Absolutely horrible. Way behind him. That wind messed me up big time. Yeah. I'm behind one right now. I'm just trying to get away from them. Yeah, we got a lot of tailing fish, yep. I got this one right here, yeah, I got this one really close to it. Harder cast that time, trying to keep in front of them. Got that wind drifting the bait back towards them. It's gonna be hard to get a cast right in front of them, unfortunately, but just hold me tight, Kyle. See how wind, how bad it's taking that thing? Just killing me. I might even spook that fish there. Bastard. I still see him back here. He looks back. To Another one? Ooh. Yeah, that was the main cool. fish. I don't know if that was, a, that was a spook. You think that was a spook there? That one was. First one we're gonna eat. Well, my heart's pounding. I got this freaking crosswind coming. It's just messing everything up, spooking fish. You want me to get upwind so I can cast downwind? Nah, we can keep it where we're at. Want me to correct your angle? I think you're good. I think I, oh, did I spook him with that? I think I whacked him. Hit him with the tail? No, he's still there. He just ate a bait. I'm gonna push you up just a little bit. No, you're good. You're good. He ate that thing for a while. Just didn't even feel him thump it. Jeez. Oh my goodness. 
Dude, he had that thing to sit in his mouth. That was the worst hook set I've ever had in my life. What? I couldn't feel him thumping or anything. He, just, oh. he had it already eaten. That was weird. Oh. You want me to anchor down? Beautiful fish, bro. Holy crap. He just knows he got it. He got freaking hooked. <laughs> Good tournament fish? I think so, yeah. Hard to tell up here, man. I'm not used to looking at fish from this high up. He is all up underneath this boat. Holy crap. And there he goes. That's a good tournament fish right oh. there. Oh my goodness. This is just the worst. <laughs> this is my nightmare right now. Kyle, I wouldn't move, man. He's underneath the boat. I'd stay up on that corner so I can get him back under from underneath. This is just a nightmare. I need you to grab the, the rod. Okay. I need you to grab the rod. I can't I can't do this up here. Okay. He's underneath the boat. Um, you can just let us drift, but you gotta get the rod and the line on the other side of the boat because he's just completely underneath it here. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, light drag. Oh man. Oh, that's always how I roll. You think he's too big? He's a stud. I'm gonna measure him. He's gonna be perfect. You think so? Or weigh him. Why All right. Him? Where is the pole at? You want to just grab the that? stakeout pole? Why don't you just grab the like net first? All right. Them. All right. I kind of want to keep him in the water for a second, but. All right. Well, we have a switch up of anglers here. I'm now the net man, and I missed the fish, so I'm banned on tournament day. That is a freaking fatty, bro. Oh, boy. Hey, nice cast, brother. Thanks, man. Mine, mine is dead, so. Your what? My thing died. Oh, your GoPro? All right, guys, so that was crazy. Um, just, a, just a wild, wild morning so far. I think I've just had a horrible time with the wind and with this tower. The combination of the two are just really really frustrating but nonetheless we found really good fish fishing a new area we we're applying the techniques that we've learned over the last few years of how to sight fish uh, for tailing redfish in particular that's what we ended up finding this morning so that's the techniques we're using um, as you heard Kyle talking about uh, trying to get us in the right position and trying to get us uh, so we're casting downwind um, was really important and that actually worked out perfectly in this situation Kyle got us uh, to where we were upwind of the fish so I could cast downwind with the wind at my back right at this tail um, and thankfully after like two casts I got a good cast on the fish he actually ate my bait I didn't feel a thump or anything and I just felt tension which a lot of times you'll feel the tension with the turtle grass and um, the fish ended up actually eating the bait and so I set the hook when I had that tension and fish on um, landed this beautiful beautiful freaking 26 probably 27 inch redfish perfect tournament fish um, I got in the net right now this is a rubber mesh net it really helps keep the slime on the fish we try and keep the fish in the water as much as possible so he's reviving right now we haven't even taken him out of the water yet um, I do want to go back to say during the fight that was crazy in the tower it was so shallow the winds pushing us so fast the fish went underneath the boat and we just kept drifting over him and so I'm locked into this tower up here and so I passed Kyle the, the rod and, you know, he gracefully got the fish from underneath the boat and ended up, uh, <clears throat> he actually, he caught the fish. I landed it with the net. So there was teamwork there, which on tournament day, teamwork is key. Um, whoever catches the fish, they only do so because they have a tournament partner there to help them. So in this situation, you could, that, that was like literally the worst possible situation, but it worked out because I had a guy there with me uh, and Kyle. So. Um, I'm gonna pull this fish out. We're gonna measure him real quick. Kyle, you want to uh, want to measure him on the sea deck up here? Cool. I'm just gonna yeah, pass you the the net, guys. We're trying to keep the fish in the water as much as possible. As you can see, this fish is like super healthy. He's ready to go down there because we kept him in the net the whole time. Um, Kyle's gonna quickly measure him. We'll put him back in the net. Put him back in the water. I'll take a quick picture with him, and then we'll send him off um, to be caught another day. So, anyways, you ready to do this thing? Let me pop my bail for you. Yeah, lure's already out. Is it? Yeah. All right, well, you can just uh, hand me this back. Let's do it quick then. We don't have to put them in the water. Wow. So as you can see, beautiful tournament fish. Uh, hopefully we're gonna find more of these for Kyle for uh, the weekend, but you wanna flip them on this side here and we'll, uh, we'll send them back. 
Oh, you want me to do it? All right. Oh, this is crazy, guys. This is the uh, first time really using the GoPros a lot. Uh, we got a tripod set up over there with a Nikon. Thankfully, I took the Nikon off. This is just craziness. But anyways, I'm gonna let this fish go. Seems ready, he just hasn't really realized he's free yet. So, see if he kicks off here. Boom, there we go. That's a good release. Well, it's been a beautiful day on the water. Uh, we saw a lot of fish. Uh, unfortunately, we were uh, prepping for a tournament, so we decided not to fish all the tailing redfish we found too hard. Uh, second and third spot we hit, we did catch some snook, but the redfish did elude us. Uh, nonetheless, it's uh, been a great day on the water, and hopefully you guys learned how to catch redfish with artificial lures. I know we offered a lot of tips and techniques. Uh, these are really techniques that we use on a regular basis, fishing for redfish with artificial baits. You know, we'll blind cast and uh, search flats and mangrove shorelines, throwing paddle tails. When we're getting a little more technical and we're starting to sight fish for fish, we'll flip flop between a Slayer rink paddle tail and a DOA shrimp rig rigged backwards. And that's not to say there are a lot of other great baits out there for sight fishing for redfish. Those just happen to be two of our favorites uh, for sight fishing for tailing redfish in particular. Um, as always, be mindful of the wind and of the tide. You can use the wind to your advantage, but also the wind can be a detriment. You know, when there's a heavy crosswind, you make those casts at those fish, you can get a big loop in the line and it can spook those fish. You, you got to be very careful whether you're fishing for tailing redfish or just sight fishing for redfish, you know, those fish can see that braided fishing line. So you wanna make sure you're using the wind to your advantage, trying to get the bait in front of the fish without the line getting in front of the fish. Um, that's difficult. I think the um, best way to explain it is, you know, trying to get your baits in front of the fish. So when you're bringing that bait in front of them, all they're seeing is the bait. They're not seeing the, the white braided line or the different color of braided line. Um, if you use a long enough fluorocarbon leader, it helps um, basically, it's almost invisible to the fish is what it is, so uh, it helps keep those fish from being able to see the line, gives them a better opportunity to find that bait naturally, uh, which is always going to be your best bet for getting a fish to eat. You got to think the more natural you can get that bait in front of a fish, the better chance you are going to have of, of getting that fish to eat. And while I'm talking about that, you know, when a fish is looking um, away from you and you're casting a bait past it and you reel it right at its head, it's not very often that a fish sees a bait fish come, a predatory fish sees a bait fish come straight towards its face. Uh, that's a very unnatural thing. N normally these bait fish are fleeing from the pet predatory fish and uh, the predatory fish know that. So when something's coming at their face quickly, especially a you know, soft plastic bait that's three inches, four inches, you know, it, it definitely can set them off and cause them to spook. So in that situation, when a fish is looking right at you, I recommend casting past the fish and trying to get it at an angle coming across the fish's line of vision in that strike zone. I, I find that you're far more likely to get those fish uh, to eat. But yeah, so, I mean, those are some great tips and techniques for how to catch redfish with artificial lures. Uh, we'll be doing more videos in the future, talking about different techniques and getting more in depth about these particular types of uh, techniques for fishing for redfish. We're also gonna get into catching sea trout and snook, black drum, and a number of other saltwater species as well. So be sure to stay tuned on our channel. If you haven't already, um, definitely subscribe. If you could uh, like this video and comment below with what you think. If there's things that you think that we uh, should expand upon, we're happy to uh, offer more videos up and offer more knowledge. Uh, if there's uh, particular things you don't like, let us know below as well. We are looking to make this, uh, oh gosh, Perfect timing, this is great. He's hooked up in the middle of this. Oh, very nice snook. Very nice snook. What a way to end a how to catch redfish video. We got Captain Kyle Grow up on the top here catching a, a really nice snook in this backcountry bay. Wow, that is not, <laughs> not what I expected at all. <laughs> oh, no, that's a, that's a great interruption for this video and probably a great segment into our how to catch snook video, which we'll be launching in the near future. Hopefully we'll have that somewhere in the bottom of this video uh, here in the near future. Man, that was a great snook. I'm gonna help him land this sucker right here. You say 26 inches probably? 25. 25, 26. Man. Uh, I gotta show this to the main camera here. Boom, nice little snook. Good job, good shot. That was exciting right there, that was cool. So you never know what you're gonna catch. Even while you're fishing for redfish, you know, a lot of the bycatch you'll get are nice snook like this. 
Man, look at that fin all lit up. That's a beautiful fish, beautiful backcountry snook. You know, you'll catch snook, you'll catch sea trout. Sometimes you catch black drum, snapper, ladyfish, jacks, sharks. There's so many species out there to catch, guys. And, you know, using these techniques for redfish, you can also catch a number of other species as well. But for those of you that are interested in learning more about catching redfish in particular, we highly recommend, you know, watching this video in depth, checking it out and really trying to better understand the techniques that we are talking about. There are a lot of typicalities when it comes to, you know, artificial fishing for redfish, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of, or a few simple things that you can do just to ensure that you're gonna have better opportunities for catching more redfish. So we really do appreciate you guys watching. That was such an exciting way to end the video. It's awesome, just super spontaneous. And that's what this channel is all about. Uh, you know, we at Florida Fishing Products are fishermen. We love to be on the water. We love to experience new things. We love to fish new water like we did today and just use these techniques in different situations uh, and, and catching different species of fish with those particular techniques. So thanks again for watching, guys. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we hope to see you again soon with some great action, with some more informative videos. So we greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful day and good fishing.